We got an issue with these cooling towers. This is a fairly recent install, but the vibration switches aren't working right. So we're coming down through here and we're coming across. Now, when we talked to the engineer, he said the door was open. We get up here and we think he meant the stairwell door and maybe he forgot about the other door. So yeah, we, he's, we're getting the key. It's coming. Yeah. Okay. But we'll let you get familiarized. Oh, look at that. See how it's still on there with all my cute little wiring and everything? Yeah. Yeah. There's your VA, or I mean your relay. I think they're both inside of that one, right? Yeah, they're yeah. both in yep. there. And that, that's where I'm confused at, is how to kill the fan based off this setup. Be right back. Well, this is really descriptive, so we've got the main diagram here which shows you a lot i mean it's handy but then you flip over okay electronic vibration cutout switch and we get one page and that page doesn't even give us a diagram but it does tell us uh, at least that you know between terminal five and six latch for the triac tracks on the name for a relay uh say the seated and then you can cycle that to reset it remotely I guess um, yeah I'm not familiar with this particular style of switch but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out so this looks like this is how they wired it originally that's how it should currently be is black and white we've got 110 and they ran a jumper to terminal or yeah terminal 3 and then a light is between red and white and then the resets between 5 and 6 which you would think that makes sense uh so what i'm actually going to do is since we have the 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 model uh i'm going to pull up this model number and i'm going to see what i can actually see from the, the internal diagram that hopefully it's more than this okay so looking at our relay here the drive start stops to hit the uh the, to kill them are these blue wires here and then We've got our two blacks. Now we're gonna talk electrician terms here. These two blacks are functioning as our common. So common is, is the hot side. Our white is our neutral or what we would call common in HVAC. So let's go to the other side through that penetration because that's, I think the white turns to blue on the other side if I understand things right. Okay, right, so we're passing through up over and then we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so those are capped. So, we have a green and a red caps. I see. Alright, so. For that filtration system, but don't have it later. I gotcha. Uh, so, these blacks, this is black is black, okay? And then our, alright, so our blue does turn to white, which. Uh, so, blue so blues are neutral and black stays are common. Yeah. And then, so, what are we? And this is, this is a, there's a switch per motor, right? Yep. So I see this is giving us our power up there. Where is our signal coming back? Uh, uh -huh. like, like, like uh -huh. electricity you don't like doesn't, doesn't work that way. So we, I, I, my main question right now is where does power even originate because these two blacks don't come from a main power source but it looks like this one here is and we've also got another one here on this red wire i'm wondering if this red wire feeds all the way through if maybe this is meant to be our hot or our, our common and then our two blacks are pulling back through so let's get a meter Sorry, I don't have skinny beats. I'm not picking up anything on that one. What about this one? That one. That works. is a dangerous ass freaking yeah. connection. Yeah, I'm not picking up anything on either of those. Uh, go from here then. Nothing. So, 
That goes somewhere. Yeah, that white ties back into there, right there in that white the red wire up there. I want to know where these two black wires go up in this chase. Either way, so that's going to a panel down below us then. So maybe we've got a breaker turned off and that's what used to run the heat trace because they've got heat trace labeled here and then now they want to use it for uh, I guess running the vibration. Either way we got to get 110 to it. So we ended up tracing down there we found the electrical room uh, but it's hooked up to what's known as the heat trace circuit right now so I'm trying to follow this back through and where did we pull heat trace power because I'm wondering if we did it uh, all the way down there now. So now I gotta go under. Okay, let's go around. You know, I'm wondering if we pulled power uh, from what was the heat trace? Good freaking nice. Okay, so this runs over to here, which is more heat trace. And then it uh, comes into where this runs here is to run anywhere. Okay. This, let me sort this out. I gotta find where the circuit's coming from, like its origin point, so that we can then uh, just try to verify what that power circuit is. I guess we could come over here to this red, and let's just see. That's the the small red. So I wonder if the, maybe the heavier red that was maybe that's part of that heat trace circuit. That's what I want and that's what I'm seeing. this lighter red, we'll see. Yep, that's it. Okay. So, this lighter red, we're good then. Uh, we turn those breakers on down there. We're gonna power this circuit and that one's probably got its own circuit. So then the question becomes... Which is which? So, one thing we didn't do was we didn't look at the, uh, uh, the J boxes to see if they represented any kind of uh, connection point, which I don't see anything labeled. Because, you know, if you see right there, it tells you, you know, go there, that panel, that breaker, sometimes. But we don't have that, it just says heat trace. So, okay, well, so we're still looking for the breaker we need then. At least we know where the panel's at. Uh, and maybe we repurpose. So we still haven't answered where does the heat trace pull its power though. So those come through and then hitch here and here. Yep. That passes up and over. And then they go through there. So right we've now got to go to the other side. So this must be under the other drive then. Yep, on this side. Yep. Black and white. Open up the other gutter box. Okay, so here's the other gutter. So it's gonna be these two then. So so that's what they did then, because that's the same circuit that ties into, yep. So then they're multi-purposing it. They're using, because the, the heat trace is, is on thermostats, but they're using the heat trace circuit to also give power to the vibration switch circuit so that we can, you know, feed the signal back. Okay, well, that makes me feel a lot better. I'm okay with that. And the heat tray circuit is isolated. We got wire nuts everywhere we need them. So we should be able to just turn this on and we need to run a wire back up to the tower. All right, another one completely. We're good. Okay, so we've got some things figured out here. Uh, this is uh this is part of what's tied into those circuits inside there this has 110 but this actual heat trace circuit running through here does not but this is the circuit that ties in right here with our vibration power so this red is capped off outside there and this black is also capped off what i'm thinking is we're going to repurpose this we'll take this red and we'll, re we'll run this red to this red to get our 110 for the vibration safeties. And that'll run both towers safeties. And we'll take this black, tie it into this black. We'll pull these other red and blacks off of here. 
and that will tie everything into this breaker for the heat trace and then that will separate us out um, originally it looks like they had the heat trace for each tower on separate circuits but the way that everything got put back it's not a it's not a whole lot of heat trace on this system so i don't think it's going to be too large but um we're going to have everything on one circuit was is how it's wired now anyway uh so yeah we're going to go back down kill the breakers reconfigure this and then that'll that'll get us that far it not going to get us all the way we still got to run a wire even all your safety bs i'll kick you I know you will. I'll take the liberty and kick you here. <laughs> I do not doubt it, Jeff. <laughs> I know that if I was ever on the edge of death getting shocked, you I'd would be sure more than know. happy to oblige. Oh, yeah. Quick, give me a two by four. <laughs> See, there's some kind of. See, you definitely hit 120 earlier. Right, they're saying 16 now, which right. that one's that still, still hot. hot. So, okay, that's a different breaker going to nothing. I guess let's. Uh, let's verify that I'm right. This is one of those cap wires. That is one of those what? Cap wires. I'm the gonna, black ones? Yeah, I'm going to pull on this one. Okay. And one of those pulled up. Let's just double check that I'm right. Okay. So, I want this one. I'll grab this one. Yeah, you're the those two pulled cap wires. Okay, so, well then where's that breaker? That's an excellent question. Um, we could always short it, find that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. Okay, so we got it sorted out. It was a mix up. The uh, when we went back down to turn them off, we accidentally turned off 12 and 14, not 14, 16. So the black wire here is 16, and the breakers, and then the red wire is 14. So we're going to relabel circuit 14 for the vibration switch, and then uh, 16 is going to stay for the heat trace. So the heat trace is now powered. We left that breaker on and we've killed this uh, breaker, which is 14, because we still have to run a wire now inside of the towers. Okay, so this will solve our wiring uh, issue. We're gonna come out of this breaker. We got our uh, hot and neutral. We're gonna come up and each of these switches has an internal circuit. I got that represented by this coil. So between one and two, each fan has its own switch but we've only got one relay per tower. So essentially, these need to run in series with each other. Uh, and this is the way it's spec as far as I know. So you could do this where these could be independent, but we'd need four relays in total. And each VFD would have its own relay. Anyway, it's not what we have. So we're going to jump her from one to three. Two is your neutral. Uh, so then we're gonna pass three. If it trips, or yeah, if it trips, this should open. Uh, go four, four is gonna come down, come over, feed into three of the next switch, and then feed four back out, back to the relay. So uh, if both of them, or if either of them trip at that point, it's gonna kill that, that coil. Uh, and then same thing over on the other tower. We're just coming back through, hitting it, coming back. Now, the issue we haven't resolved is uh, technically those relays are not energized. So why haven't the drives technically tripped out? Because, well, they should have. Here we've got our speed reference. And then this is going to be our start stop. Okay, it turned off on its own. I'm like, all right, well, this should be our start stop. That looks like it went kaboom at some point. Uh, let's see, let's see. So I see we're passed down green and white. Uh, we come up through here, green and white. What are we down here? We are white and I think black on these blue wires. So this blue wire is this one, which doesn't go anywhere. So, okay, well this is a simple fix then. Um, I don't see I don't see the blue set for this drive. Here's the blue one for this one. Each of these should have their own. Let's see, here's one. So this is the one I see here. Where's the other one go? Where does it go? Where does it go? And it's right there. Okay, cool. All right, well, this is real simple. So these, once we get them ready, they will just run in series with this start stop here so that when, uh, when those trigger, it's going to just open the start stop on the drive and we should we should be good and we're not communicating or anything to them so there's no data bus we 
shouldn't have to worry about using the actual emergency stops. If we just use the uh, the regular uh, start stop, we'll be fine. That's going to be a simple fix. They just got to be ran in series when when everything's hooked up and when the switches are actually working. As right now, they're just not wired in at all. So, yeah, easy enough. And just to confirm, our uh, heat trace thermostat is lit up now. So we got power that's fixed. So I'm glad we caught that. We didn't expect that to be an issue, but that was going to be an issue. Uh, we've, we've got a solution for it. So we're not gonna be able to fix it today. We'll come back with the wire, get all that stuff situated and whatnot. To clear up any confusion on the additional wires, when the conductors were ran for the control circuit for the vibration switches initially, not enough conductors were pulled in order to properly pass the signals back and forth. So we not only needed to send power up to the sensors, but we also needed a return wiring circuit in order to control the relays in the panel. MTT, take care of your family, take care of your spouse. Hope you enjoyed the, the trip, the journey. I'll see you around.